We're going to look at the UK initial setup for BBR uh, Global 1940 Axis and Allies. Um, it's slightly different from out of box in that there isn't a division of um, Atlantic and Pacific side income. However, uh, on the Pacific side there is a maximum build of 20 IPCs out of the, um, the Calcutta factory. Uh, so that's sort of how they do it. And if Calcutta falls, uh, it owes the Axis a one-time payment of ten dollars. Um, but it's not technically considered a capital anymore because the UK can spend its money however it wants all over the board. Uh, there's no minimum requirement of how much you have to put into Calcutta. All right, in terms of setup, uh, in the capital proper, in the UK capital proper, um, there are four anti-aircraft artillery, uh, one um, mechanized infantry, two regular infantry, uh, two fighters, and a strategic bomber. Up in Scotland, there is a... Um, any aircraft artillery and a fighter. In C Zone 111, there's a battleship, and remember the new battleships have built in anti aircraft on them. So there's a battleship, a cruiser, and a destroyer. In C Zone 109, there's a destroyer and a transport. In C Zone 110, there's a battleship and a cruiser. Um, the cruisers, by the way, when they're paired with battleships, um, have a combined arms defense rating of four when they're paired with a battleship, and that's even if the battleship is damaged. Uh, although damage to a battleship does affect its ability to use its AA gun. Okay, uh, Okay. Uh, moving on in terms of uh, UK stuff. In C-Zone 91, there is a cruiser. In Gibraltar, there is a fighter. In Malta, which is now, by the way, worth one IPC, there is a fighter, an infantry, and an anti-aircraft artillery. In France, in the capital of France, you'll see right there, there are some British units as well. There's a tank and um, an artillery piece in France. Um, in C-Zone 96, there is a transport, an aircraft carrier with a, um, a tactical bomber on board. There's a cruiser. There's a destroyer. In Alexandria, which is called El Alamein on the BBR map, there are two infantry, one artillery, and one tank. In uh, Cairo, in, in Egypt, there are uh, an infantry, an artillery, and a mechanized infantry. In Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, there's an infantry. And all the way down here in South Africa, which is now worth three, instead of two, there is a small factory, and there are two infantry. In C-Zone 71, there's a destroyer. Uh, some of the other changes that they've made to um, territory values, the Tanganyika territory is now worth zero, as is the Gold Coast territory. So when the BBR changed the values of, of uh, territories, they always made sure to even things up. Anytime they added something somewhere, they subtracted something somewhere else. So none of the countries gets a massive benefit from, uh, from the changes here because if one of their um, territories is, is raised, another one is lowered somewhere. Okay, continuing on with uh, the UK forces and uh, how they're disposed. Uh, in West India, let's zoom out a smidge here just so that we can see all of this here. In West India, there is a single infantry. In India, in the capital, in Calcutta, uh, there are six infantry, three anti-aircraft artillery, and one regular artillery, along with a fighter and a tactical bomber. In C-Zone 39, there's a transport, a destroyer, and a cruiser. In Burma, there are two infantry and a um, fighter plane. Uh, in Malaya, there are three infantry. And in C-Zone 37, there is a uh, battleship. Okay. Oh, and then, of course, in Kwang Tung, there are two infantry as well. Um, I think that's all the British stuff. 
Uh, so we will talk about national objectives for the Brits. They only have a few. Uh, they get uh, a 5 IPC bonus if they control um, Egypt, Transjordan, and Alexandria or El Alamein. They get 5 IPCs. Uh, in the east here, um, they get 5 IPCs if um, the UK controls both Kwangtung and Malaya and they're at war with the Japanese. So they don't collect this bonus until they're at war with Japan. Uh, finally, uh, they get a 2 IPC bonus per territory if the Allies control um, Iraq, uh, Persia, or Iran in the uh, BBR map, and Northwest Persia, or Northwest Iran in the BBR map. And that's whoever controls them. If, if the Russians control them or the Americans or whatever, they get bonuses for if, if these are allied controlled. Two IPCs per territory. Uh, so, that's, that's the end of the UK setup. Uh, and my battery's running low on the camera, so I'm going to have to recharge it. So that's the end of the UK setup.